Hello everyone, my name is Danny and today I'll be teaching you how to do a sticky scroll inside of prototyping in Figma. This is a brand new feature that just came out and it's a little bit more complicated than I was anticipating so I want to help guide you through it. Um, so here's what sticky scroll actually is. You'll notice as I scroll these section titles um, stay sticky in place but as the next section appears, it overrides that section and it just makes for a very nice, smooth transition. This works really nicely for lists, but if I have these horizontal tabs as well, you can accomplish something similar by having this scroll up to the top and then it pops nicely into place and then my list items scroll behind. So how do we accomplish this? For the vertical list, let's start off by just creating a frame and adding auto layout. This is the size of my device. I'm using iPhone 14 Pro, and I just have a few elements that I'm going to use to get us started. So I will pop into my auto layout my header that I have here. And now to structure my lists, what I want to do is I have each individual list item here. I'm going to select all of these components and press Shift A to turn that into an auto layout. I'll quickly rename this to Burgers. So this list acts as my list items and then my section titles that I have here actually need to be outside of the auto layout. So for sticky scroll to work, you need to have a just regular frame. Um, otherwise, there's some wonkiness. So it's better just keep it in a regular frame. Um, so I will take my list, auto layout list, and my section title, and I'll just press um, Option Command G or press F on your keyboard to create to draw out a frame. And we'll just call this Menu Items. So now I can just well actually let me put this over here. So we need to bring in all of our other items as well. But before we do that, we need to make a few modifications. So go to prototyping mode and um, your main frame, just set that to no scrolling. And the reason I'm doing that is because I actually want this header up here, I want that to stay fixed. So that's kind of a sticky element in and of itself. It's a uh, absolute positioned item. So we want that to always stay there, but we also want these items to scroll. So now I'll take my menu items frame, just make it much, much bigger, and I will start dragging in these items here. So these different sections are laid out exactly the same as we laid this out. It's just an auto layout stack, and then the title is actually, as you can see, separate from the auto layout. So we'll select all of these, and let me just drag it into my frame, make sure it snaps in there nicely. And now I can drag this menu items frame into my auto layout device frame. And I'm just going to set this to fill the container. So now this giant frame of items is overflowing down pretty much to the bottom of the screen. Um, and now the only other thing that we need to do is add in our prototyping scrolls. So this menu items frame that we've been messing with we want to set the overflow to scroll vertically. And for each of these different section headers, I want those to be sticky. So make sure each of these are set to sticky. And once we've done that, we can very quickly preview and make sure everything's working. So now you'll see as I scroll, everything scrolls nicely. Um, if you have any issues here, it's probably because of the order of your frames. So um, I'll give you an example real quick. So if I have this burgers thing um, and I change the order here in the stack and then I start scrolling, you'll notice that it stays on top, um, at least until a certain point. It's not being overridden. So what Figma is basically doing here is it's detecting the layer order and then it's stacking the other item on top of it. So whenever 
um, chicken and fish reaches here. It just goes on top of burgers. So that's what creates that stacking effect. Um, so if you have this issue as well, where it's kind of scrolling behind, rest assured, nothing's broken. It's just a ordering issue. So make sure things are in order as you need them and you shouldn't have any problems. So next up, if we wanna create something similar using um, this horizontal scroll with these tabs, do the same thing, create a frame, auto layout, and then I'll just drag in my header. And now, um, now that I have my tabs here, let me just ungroup this real quick. So each of these different tabs are set in their own little auto layout and I can select all of them, press Shift A, and I'm just gonna add 16 pixels padding here, and I'll call this my scroll menu. And you wanna make sure that you set this to have a fill, because if it doesn't have a fill, then you'll kinda see the items behind it. And then the scroll section itself, let me just ungroup this real quick so you can see. This is the same as before. I just have all of my items, shift A inside of an auto layout, and I'll just call this drinks. Okay, so now we've got our scroll menu. We've got our advertisement up here at the top that's gonna scroll out of the way. And I'm just gonna take all three of these and add auto layout. We'll get rid of this space in between them. And now I want to set this Fill the container, and I'm gonna set this, well, I'll just drag this in for now. I want this to hug my contents. Okay, so everything's looking nice there. Um, I wanna set this to have some prototyping functionality. So I'm gonna set it to have overflow horizontal. That'll give me my horizontal scroll. And then I'm gonna set this entire frame here. I'll just call this main for now. I want to set the overflow to scroll vertically. And I need to set this scroll menu to be sticky. So I've got a horizontal scroll on it and it's sticky. So now I can just drag this into place. And same thing as before, I'm going to set this to fill container. So I'm not sure if I did this or not, but I want to do the same thing over here. Turn off the scrolling um, and make sure that is set to vertical scroll. And now we can preview this and hopefully it's working nicely, but it's not because like I said before, um, Figma is reading the layers here. So what happened is this layer is getting hidden behind these other layers. So to fix that, we can actually just take this and there's a little bit of wonkiness with using auto layout, but in this case, it actually works. See how we have in our auto layout settings, we have last on top. We can just change that to first on top. So that will then put this layer above this layer. And then hopefully as we preview, you'll see that everything scrolls nicely behind and this scrolls horizontally. So please, if you want to follow along in uh, the file here, if you wanna mess around with this, I'll put it on the community store, but that's basically it. Um, there's a lot more that can be done here, but this is kind of just a basic overview to give you an understanding of how it works. Um, if you guys found that useful, helpful in any way, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.